uh, hey guys, I'm doing a video on a, another batch file I wrote, but I wanted to do the video today because uh, this video pertains to the date. So I guess, without any more intro, I guess just to dive right into this. So the first thing I want to show you is this. This is the um, list of environment variables. As you can see, it's the default for free DOS. So there's nothing added right now. So uh, let's dive in there. Um, date conditional. And we'll run the batch file. And it'll say, today is the day of the payload, which means that this payload activates on this date. So um, I guess I'll change the date and show you that the payload won't activate. And we'll make it 12, like 16, 2013. And I'll run it again. And as you can see, nothing happens. So what's going on here? Well, let me change the date back and I'll show you. All right, so let's dive into this thing. So it's pretty simple, it's like three lines, but it was a pain in the neck to get the syntax right. So first thing I did was turn syntax, or uh, God, echo off, and then here's where I started messing. So the first thing you have to do is you have to drop an environment variable in there. Because on this version of DOS, there's no environment variable for date. You have to make your own. So I set the environment variable for date as, um, as the line that would come up if you were to type in date dash d, which would be this. So anyways, back to the file. Date conditional dot bat. So I set the environment variable to that, and then I use the environment variable here to write a conditional. So I said if that matches this, then echo this. Now it doesn't have to be echo, it can be any command. You can put a um, file from the directory in here. It doesn't really matter. But I just use echo because it's an easier demonstration. So that's the basics behind it. Now, because it's such a pain in the neck, I guess I'll show you guys a couple of my like failed attempts at this. Because this isn't the only these aren't the only two files in the directory. I have like this one for example, date time. This is someone else's code. This didn't work. This did not work. Um then we had date var. I don't even know if I messed with this one too much. I did. This was someone else's code again, and it didn't work. So after a long time, I just resorted to my own code. So I guess I'll demonstrate environment variables too, just so you can see exactly what it does. So um, I'll do echo date is today. And you can see, instead of having what was there as percent date percent, it shows this current date is Monday 12, 16, 2013, which it isn't. Current date is actually that. So that's the tiny problem with it. But um, I think if we run it again, it'll show us the actual date. Let's take a look. Because we haven't run that command since. No, it doesn't. Maybe if we do this. And we'll do um, echo date is today. Well, someone just doesn't want to work, huh? Yeah, this is pretty sketchy as it is. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. But not having the uh, date variable set automatically is kind of a pain in the neck, so I had to do what I had to do to make it work. I actually, at one point in time, go all the way back, I went to uh, CD System 37, because apparently that's what we do around here. And I think it's CD HDR. And I listed the directory, and I did edit uh, date.h. And I took a look at this file. I was lost. This file didn't help me. I thought maybe it would make sense. It didn't. It didn't help. So this actually took me probably a solid two and a half hours to figure out what exactly I was doing and make the uh, program work properly. But it works now. Most of the time. Half the time. Kind of. It's better than what I had when I started, but it would probably be a lot easier to do this in another programming language. Because this is one of the huge limitations right now that I'm having with DOS, is that there's no environment variable for date. I mean, I, I'm going to reset the system just to show you this. I mean, look at this. Uh, there's no environment variable for date by default. If you do um, echo dates is today, you won't get anything. That's void. And it's the same thing with... Uh, is now. See? There's no date or time environment variables in this version of DOS. 
but that was a pain in the neck to make work, and um, it works kind of. If you have any like ideas for refining the code or making it work better than it does right now, just let me know, because I'd be open to trying to make that code work a little better. But uh, that's my conditional based on the current date. Hope you enjoyed.